This Lister Hill Library tutorial will demonstrate how to use the search engine Google Scholar to find gray literature. We'll start on the Lister Hill Library homepage, click on the Google Scholar tab, and then on the icon to open Google Scholar. Once there, you want to check your Scholar preferences to be certain that Lister Hill Library is checked in the library links, that way you will be able to get to full text if UAB provides it. If you use EndNote or EndNote Web, you want to make sure that's checked so the link to export shows up on your result list. The topic for this demonstration is the relationship between antibiotic resistance and consumer hand sanitizer use. Start by considering synonyms for your search concepts before you begin. Also, you can increase the accuracy and effectiveness of your searches on Google Scholar by adding operators like OR, AND that fine-tune your search terms. You can do that on the advanced search page, but if you're doing a complicated search, sometimes it's easier just to use a simple search box. I'll start by typing in antibiotic resistance, and then I'll add the phrase hand sanitizers or antibacterial soap or antibacterial wipes. I put them in quotes so that they're searched as a phrase. That will narrow my results a bit. If you want broader results, you can not search them as quotes. I'm not going to want to see patents, so I'm not going to include that, and I'll click on search. I can choose the last five years. I'm going to do that. Choose only to see Summaries. Now let's take a look at the result list. And as I scan it, I see a lot of scatter from hospitals and from animals and so forth. So I can add another search term. I'm going to add consumer. And then also or home. And rerun the search. Let's take a look at some of our results. This is a chapter in a book, and it's exactly on topic, pharmaceutical and personal care products in the environment and potential risks of antibiotic resistance. It's from a symposium series, so you might not have found this through other means. And unfortunately, UAB does not provide full text, you'll be asked to pay for it here. So what you're going to want to do is go back to Interlibrary Loan and request it so you can get it at a cost of $3 or free. Scrolling down the page, this is a thesis. And it's from ProQuest, which means there would be a fee. Again, request it through Interlibrary Loan. Here's another piece of gray literature a review prepared for the National Collaborating Center for Infectious Diseases in Canada. Now the proprietal page ranking technology incorporates the number of citations and links associated with pages in the relevancy ranking. Since gray literature pages might not be so widely distributed as articles, you might find more gray lit lower in the relevancy ranked list. So let's look a little bit further down the page. It's fairly easy to scroll quickly because if you notice, find it at UAB, Lister Hill, those are primarily published articles. So we'll just go to page two. And we'll take a look at this one. This is from the Worms and Germs blog. When we open it, we see it's an article. And an abridged version of this article actually was published in CMAG. The Worms and Germs blog is a joint venture of the Ontario Veterinary College's Center for Public Health and Zoonoses and the City of Hamilton Public Health Department. This is a reputable blog and a good example of how blogs are becoming part of gray literature. Last look at this one, Disinfective Overkill, from somebody called the ProcessCleaningSolutions.com. This report may contain useful information, but it's a reminder that we need to watch for bias and sources. 
The organization producing the report may have a point of view you need to consider while evaluating the information in the paper. Remember, although Google Scholar includes some theses, dissertations, and conference proceedings, there is no easy way to limit to them in your searches. And coverage is not comprehensive. There are some search strategies. The one I've chosen here is to paste my search in the All the Words box and then add thesis or dissertation in the At least one of the words box. You can do the same thing with symposium or conference, for example. Unfortunately, although you did, do get quite a few theses at the top of the list, you also get a lot of things that are not theses. But still, it could be helpful. Always also check the Cyrus search engine and contact a Lister Hill librarian who can assist you in using Lister Hill library licensed resources to find additional theses and meeting abstracts if that's important to your research. If you have questions about this or any other resource, please ask a Lister Hill librarian by phone, email, or chat.